Today, we have a special guest from Hungary. His name is Akos. He moved to Hungary from Ukraine when he was 10 years old. He's currently pursuing his degree in manufacturing engineering. So welcome, Akos. Welcome to the Billion Inside podcast. Hello, Sri. Thank you for the invitation. For the yeah. beginning, uh, I just want to tell you my English skill is not the perfect. I still need a lot of practicing to improve myself and my pronunciation not the best. So be patient with me. And the uh, viewers who watch this, uh, I am not a native speaker, so... Uh, yeah, man, it's no problem. Since uh, English is your not native language, so we can understand. No problem there. Yeah, thank you. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, my name is Akos. I'm from Hungary. I am a still a student. I am learning technical manufacturing engineering. You can call it like this in English. Yeah. So, Akos, where do you live in Hungary? I live in Győr. It's a, not a very big city, but it's a very beautiful city. Hmm. How many languages Hungarian people can speak? Is the older people doesn't just only speak Hungarian, or that's the most common thing what I what I see. But the younger generation probably speak uh, also English or German also. Like the most common is the people talk like two language. Mm. But is not few people also speak more languages like like three or four also. But I meet with somebody who speak speak like six language. Mm. Normally, can Hungarian people can understand English? Uh, yeah, if you meet somebody in the street and you, you know, want to ask him something, like in English, uh, probably in 10 to pair, five people can talk with you. Hmm. Uh, so uh, can you say, uh, like, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you in Hungarian language. Of course. Uh, like, let's start with, uh, who are you? Who are you? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the most common thing to say in Hungary, if you want to say somebody to hug, is you can say also, uh, hello, you know, that's also very common. But the most people say, you know, see ya. See ya. It is a common and thing. If also, you, yeah. yeah, see ya. But <laughs> that's when people meet. And if we want to say to each other bye, we also say uh, see ya. <laughs> yeah, usually we see uh, see ya means uh, say bye. In that time, we say see ya. Yeah. So when you introduce, you will say see ya in Hungarian, right? Yeah. And if we want to say each other bye, is mm -hmm. we also say see ya sometimes. But we have a very funny word. If you want to say in English, uh, in the English is say kiss, you know. Mm -hmm. If if you're kissing your girlfriend in a sentence. Mm -hmm. But in Hungary, if you want to say kiss, we say pussy. And it's very common to say each other, you know, kiss, kiss. If you want to say somebody who, to, you know, if you are more closer. You know, if you're if your girlfriend or family, you know, if you want to also say bye bye, we sometimes say, uh, you know, kiss kiss, but in Hungarian we say pussy pussy. <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah. So, Akos, uh, you said that uh, you were lived in Ukraine up until 10 years. So, can you tell me how was your experience in Ukraine? Yeah, I, I born in Ukraine when I, I moved out when I was 10 years old with my family. Uh, I lived in a very small village, but th in that village everyone speak Hungarian, so I, I never learned it, the Ukrainian language. Hmm. I just only know of, of very, very few words, were like klib, bread, you know, mm -hmm. that's just a very, very small language knowledge. Hmm. My experience in Ukraine was... You know, I, I never love it because I always think uh, to myself, I'm, I am a Hungarian because I my family is Hungarian. I speak Hungarian language and that village where I born is a Hungarian village. The village name is Hungarian and the territory was also Hungarian. Mm -hmm. Could you tell any interesting thing about your country? Uh, Hungary is, um, I think, is very economical uh, country in, in Europe because it's very old. We have very good history. Hungary is located in, in Central Europe. Like Hungarian population is like 10 million Hungarian. The Rubik's Cube is invented in Hungary by uh, Rubik Ernő. Hmm. He was an engineer who like uh, making toys for children. And this is one of his be very good no uh, toy in the world. Like everybody heard about it. Hmm. So Rubik's Cube is named after Irono Rubik. Yeah, er Erno Rubik. Yeah. Hmm. This Rubik Cube and in invented by Rubik Erno. Hmm. So he was an inventor, designer, right? Yes. So Akos, could you tell us some of your famous uh, traditional festival that is celebrated in Hungary? 
we have a very very lot of you know uh, special days and we also you know uh, celebrating Christmas Easter with like uh, we have the the Busho Yarash that's a very interesting festival actually could you tell us something about uh, Busho Yarash i hope i pronounced it correctly yes Uh, the festival usually occurs around the end of the February or early March before the beginning of Christian calendar. One of the most distinctive features of Bushoyeras is the is a very old traditional after the the origin is like uh, Mohaj town in Hungary. Uh, you know, is a, a few people wearing masks and like is a very weird uh, clothes and view a wood toy like is making a uh, clicking sounds and is like for scaring people and you know just a traditional. And uh, this is like not very common, actually. Just like yes, yeah, some, uh, something like this. But I, I never seen it in my life, really, really, because just like in videos, because it's not a very common thing in entire Hungary. In you know? some part of the Hungary, right? Yes, in Kurosto Mohachtav. So it is similar to Halloween, but it is a uh, different. We also have Halloween, but uh, we say Halotok Napia, like uh, that people's day. I go to the, you know, into church and, uh, you know, visiting old people's graveyards, you know, yeah. for to, you know, talk with them again, with your, with your ancestors. Hmm. So what is that called? The Hungarian Halloween? All Souls Day. I don't know the name in English. No problem. Any other festival which you want to mention here? We also have like Badacson Wine Weeks, like people trying uh, wines and you know spending time with each other. People visiting uh, in this time, like Badacson City, hmm. is very good. No festival. Hmm. So you celebrate wine, right, in that festival? Yeah, you know, trying the, you know, tasting wine. You know, you can spend time with your with your new friends or with your family. you know just uh, for uh, spending time with each other you know not in your phone just really to spend quality time with each other hmm that is interesting so akus can we talk about your uh, country's cuisine yes we have a lot of uh, good uh, very well known dishes in the world or the, you know the kitchens Mm-hmm. Um, like guyash, paprikash, or langosh is a very tasty food. The guyash is a soup, like we uh, lot of meat and uh, and we put it in potato and a uh, few vegetable, and it's very tasty. Would we and we put very lot of paprika in it. Mm-hmm. We have the paprikash, and this you know is in the name is a is is a is a very uh, strong paprika in it, and is a like you know, meat and, and vegetables, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the langosh is a is a very weird one. Is uh, like um, like is look like like a bread, but is not. Is 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 flat. And mm. uh, we put um, garlic sour cream. We put it into bread, and it's very tasty. But mm. uh, it just look like if you look the pictures. And this is one of my favorite one. Oh. Yeah, because it's uh, very easy to make and is very tasty. Mm. And you can be very cool and just eat a few. Mm. Akus, yeah. do you do you like traveling? 
Yeah, but I'm not a very uh, big fan of Tamarind, but yeah, I, sometimes I, I really like to see new places in the world. Hmm. Can you name any famous place that you visited in a country or want to visit? Uh, our capital city, I think our parliament is, is the most beautiful parliament in the entire world. It's, it's built in uh, in Baroque style. It's a very, very beautiful, you know, it's a very old building. It is in Budapest, right? Your yeah, capital. Yeah, capital. This is our capital building yeah. also. It's the part parliament. It's very beautiful. Hmm. And, you know, every, every country or every big city have, to, you know, dark side. And also we have a lot of uh, uh, homeless people. And, you know, the city is not not that clean, if you know. You see the picture, but, you know, it's, it's just, this is the truth. You can call it like a very beautiful city. And that's true. The architecture is very beautiful. Hmm. But if you you know just walking a lot like you're not a you're not a tourist you are a people you're a native uh, people in Hungary who live in in Budapest in the capital city and mm -hmm. you're gonna see it like the city is is not that uh, beautiful than how it looks like yeah it's true if if you're if you are a tourist it's very beautiful city no city in the world is perfect there is a good side and there is a bad yeah. side you say it right it is applicable for every country yes every every city and every country has a dark yeah. and uh, the famous side yeah Budapest also have a good side and there is a bad side yeah yeah but like every, every other cities like is the, the city is not that clean you know it's mm -hmm. not, not very dirty but you know it has a we have a very lot of problem with the homeless people mm -hmm. you know our government also not the best mm -hmm. yeah I mean <laughs> no government in any country are perfect I would say yeah it's true so, of course, uh, would you like to say any other famous place of your country? We also have a very beautiful other cities like Gyur. It's also is a very old city and this uh, Gyur also have a very beautiful architecture. I, I if, if somebody wants to go to in Hungary and I, I swear it is, go to the capital city is very beautiful and you can go to in Gyur, that's also a very beautiful city. Hmm. It's a very interesting in here because we have a we have a cannon ball that's stuck in a wall in the, in just in a random street that's a shoot at the Napoleon one of them the Napoleon army shoot at that cannon ball and still in the wall. Hmm. If you could pick three countries to visit other than your own, where would you like to choose? Uh, my dream to go to in Finland. I think Finland is a very, very beautiful country. I, I really, I really like the cold weather, so it's, it's perfect for me. Hmm. Any other country? I also want to go to Japan uh, because hmm. I think Japan is also a very, very interesting culture for me. Yeah, you know, I hmm. doesn't speak Japanese or I doesn't have any experience with me to just to come to in Japan, and I also want to, you know, just spend a week. Mm -hmm. you know in japan because it's, you can see a very lot of things and very interesting you know because it's uh we have a very very big culture difference and it's just very uh, very interesting to experience it mm -hmm. my parents want to go to in egypt but uh for me egypt is just too warm weather but i also want to go to you know just just for to visiting the pyramids is just like you know it's very very interesting th things to to see in your life because some people think it's just you know it just form just a few pyramids is just very boring yeah it's boring but you know just for the experience it's very old stuff and you know yeah yeah it's very interesting also it's, it's part of the history yeah uh, so talking about the weather, how is the weather in your place? In Hungary, we have uh, four seasons, like spring, uh, summer, autumn, and uh, winter. The summer is, is is very comfortable, but sometimes can it uh, very warm, like 30, 45 Celsius also. But mm. is just uh, but, uh, the winters, can, mm. yeah. Hmm. But the winters is also can be very good, but sometimes is, is very cold also like mm -hmm. uh, minus uh, 10 or minus uh, 15 celsius also but that's very rare oh. mm -hmm. 
what's the one of them because in the you know the, cl- the climate changing in hungary we have uh, you know we also have uh, snowing but the place where i live right now i doesn't see snow like just a very small amount but in the past i i remember in my childhood we have we have very very big snowing and this mm-hmm. was very good but right now just just a, sometimes you know is is raining snow in in night but after in morning you know everything just melting so mm-hmm. Yeah, it's sad. So uh, we doesn't have a uh, white uh, Christmas. But it's some place in Hungary who is, mo- is luckier. Hmm. So Akos, if you could travel back in time, what period in your country's history would you want to experience? Hmm, that's very interesting. I never think about this. Hmm. I, I wanted to, you know, the Renaissance is for me is very interesting. What is that? Yeah, uh, like when you know Renaissance, uh, like when people uh, try to you know new things, you know the the science also is upgrading, and you know the the dark uh, Middle Age is is gone. This is a new era in in history, you know. Hmm. Like so, Leonardo da Vinci also yeah, lived yeah. in the Renaissance mm. era in Italy. Sure. Okay, moving on. So, Akos, do you like sports? Uh, yeah, I, I like swimming. Hmm. Do you participate in any yeah. other sports? I tried the American football, but I just played like uh, four months in a team, you know, just practicing. Mm-hmm. But my I broke my leg and after it, I just does not want to play it anymore. But it was a fun experience. Mm-hmm. So what is the most popular sport in Hungary? The most uh, popular, I think, so is the football. A lot of, lot of young people love it and the older people also watch, you know, in, in TV. Mm-hmm. And it is the most, you know, and the, the most, you know, but not the American football, it's the, in, in, you know, the soccer, in, we call it in, like, in English, but, you know, the mm-hmm. traditional. Yeah. The soccer, yeah. English football in Europe, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the, I think a lot of people also say, uh, also love the basketball or an other sport. So also mm-hmm. is handball is also very common. Mm-hmm. We have, you know, but the, I think so the most common thing and, and the most loved sport in Hungary is the football. So, of course, uh, you said that you learn English by watching movies and TV series. So, could you name any popular movies from Hungary to our viewers? The popular movies in Hungary is, is we have a few iconic, or I don't know, for me, it's a very iconic movie. But no, it's not a movie, it's like a series. It's called Joban Rosban. It's like a sappan opera, or I don't know, you know, is I don't know how to call it in English. But it's just like, for me, it's a very funny. It's the most of the older generation watch this movie. Like, this is a drama. Like, you know. Hmm. But uh, uh, like a Mikish Falunk, that's also very, very good. And this for the, the younger generation also love it. Like mm-hmm. uh, Mikish Falunk is uh, our uh, small village is a uh, very, very funny. I, I love it. Mm-hmm. But for my favorite movie is, uh, but that's, this is not Hungarian movie. It's called um, Interstellar. It's like a This is my movie. favorite movie also from Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, I love it. It's a very good movie. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite movies, Interstellar. Yeah. Yes, my mind is also, nobody can, if this has a better movie than this, I yeah. am very happy. I want to watch <laughs> it. I don't think somebody can do better movie than this, which is just <laughs> so good. Yeah, true. So, Akos, can you name any of your favorite YouTube channels from your country? Yeah, I watch a lot of YouTube, so I have a few favorite uh, YouTube videos. One of my favorites is called Ice Bluebird. His real name is Benza, and he's a um, he's a he has uh, he playing with a lot of different games. I think he has a very good personality. Hmm. Um, I follow him like when he just started it uh, making videos, so he's, I follow him very long ago. One of them is a small YouTuber called Technoscope. He's making um, like funny videos about other countries or cultures, or you know, also playing with games. Hmm. So, Akos, what are the most popular career options and educational program that you observe in your surroundings? 
I think in Hungary we have very good university. So if you are in other countries and you want to go to to study in other countries, Hungary is I think is a very good place because uh, because in universities the younger people are is them also speak English, so you can communicate with them. You are, we have very good teachers also. So most of the people, if uh, they go to universities, like they are learning like mechanical engineering. Lots of people also studying like medical, you know, to be doctors. Hmm. So Akos, according to you, what are the most popular smartphone brands in your country? I think the most common phone in Hungary is the Samsung, but the iPhone is also very popular, but I doesn't really like it. Hmm. Okay. So Akos, what are the some misconceptions about your country that you like to address? So just doesn't uh, joking about my country's name, you know, when I say some other people I'm from Hungary, they just say I am hungry or mm-hmm. they people know where I am from just for just they want to joke about it. I I, hate, I, I know, you know, when I just uh, experience it this like uh, first, you know, just a few times, but when you hear this joke like the, more than 100, you know, just mm-hmm. you're going to bore it and you're just going to hate it. I can totally see that. Yeah. So moving on. So Akos. What do you think? What is the most biggest challenge facing your country today? I think so lower the inflation because in Hungary the money inflation is very high and the corruption, you know, corruption is also very common in Hungary. Hmm. What's the best piece of advice you ever received? Uh, my parents and my my grandparents also told me, you know, just to learning. You know, you also need to learn if you want to to be, you know, successful in life. So yeah, that's the end of the podcast. Akos, any final thoughts? Did you enjoy the podcast? Yeah, it was very interesting uh, experience. It was very mm-hmm. fun experience. Thank thanks for the invitation. Yeah, I enjoyed you. it. So before we wrap up, could you kindly ask our viewers to subscribe to the Billion Insights channel? Yeah. Hey guys, Sri is working very hard in this channel. Can I request you for to subscribe to Billion Insights? Please subscribe and punch that share and uh, a notification button. Thank you, Akos. Could you say in your Hungarian language? Kélek, iratkozz fel a Billion Insight csatornára, és üsd meg a lájkot, és oszd meg minél több emberrel, hogy minél többen értesülhessenek erről a remek munkáról, amit itt végzel, Sér. Thank you, Akos. Thank you so much for talking with us today and sharing your experience. We wish you all the best for your future. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Again. Thank you, Agos. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning into the Billion Insight Podcast. So stay tuned for more exciting episodes. And until next time, dream big and work hard. Yeah. This is Sri signing yeah. out. Peace.